Human security is an international study environment with people from all over the world and with very different backgrounds. We have people who come straight from other bachelor degrees, but also people who've been serving in the army or people who've done a lot of volunteering work or working in NGOs. And so uh, that gives quite a, a good mix of insights that we can uh, use to spar with each other. A lot of the international students were surprised at how approachable the lecturers were. Uh, so in a, in a Danish context, and especially at Human Security, you can always just go knock on your lecturer's door if, if you need help uh, with uh, some literature that you want to find or if you have an academic project. And uh, yeah, you knock on their door and they'll serve you coffee and they're happy to, to tell you more about that. And that's something new for the international students, but something they really appreciate. It is extremely important for us that you feel welcome in the human security program. And we do a lot to create a good study environment. We have, for instance, established a student committee. And this committee arranges a lot of different academic and social events. What made me study human security was really the chance to also travel abroad and apply my skills and on the work placement. That was really unique. I was uh, sort of full of reading books for a while and I wanted to be able to see how that could also be applied. So um, at our program we give you the opportunity to basically follow your own interest and uh, design your own project that you then combine together with your work placement and that project could basically be anything um, um, that you're interested in. It could be conflict related, peace building related, environmental issues, you name it. And uh, the work placement that you basically would run alongside is uh, like it's possible that you do that at any kind of organization. It could be the World Health Organization, it could be Femme Internationale, it could be the UN Refugee Agency, the UNHCR. It's basically up to you. Um, and it's also through that that you get um, an opportunity to potentially get your next job offer um, through that work placement. Um, so basically what we try to do is give you the skills uh, that are valued not only in academia, but also by your future employer. During the program, we've been connecting theory and practice really closely. So when we learn the theories of conflict dynamics, we also gain experience in writing uh, security papers, which is a formal format that is often used. And when we learn about uh, ecosystem management, we are taught to also write project proposals uh, within the logical framework approach, which is the standard for that. Uh, we also learn uh, face-to-face -face conflict management techniques and another practical skill is of course when we do the research methods course we are simultaneously planning our work placement and we're thinking about what methods will we use for our master's thesis so it's that constant pairing of theory and practice. Our human security program prepares you for many different job opportunities. We have students working within both the private and the public sectors. We have students working for smaller organizations and also students working for very big organizations like for instance NATO. Many of our students work with conflict related issues, other, others with environmental issues, but the opportunities are really many. I'm hoping to use my degree in human security to, uh, for one thing, uh, do my work placement in Ghana and keep a cooperation uh, or co collaboration with uh, the organization Caritas Ghana, which is uh, doing development work there. Uh, but I'm also hoping to use my human security degree uh, in academics. I'm, I'm also applying for a PhD and I've really been taught some good analytical skills that I want to use there to do an important project that can improve human security.